donkey of the day. Donkeys of the day ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being donkey of the day is a little bit of a mixed up. So like a donkey. Yeehaw. Okay. Donkey of the day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but donkey of the day is a new one. Yes, dog here today for Wednesday, August 3rd, goes to Katrina Pearson. Now, if you don't know who Katrina Pearson is, she is a American Tea Party activist and communications consultant. And since November of 2015, she has served as national spokesperson for the stand-up comedy show, commonly known as the Donald Trump 2016 okay. presidential campaign. Now, like most people on Donald Trump's campaign, and including Donald, facts don't matter. Okay, people on the Trump campaign treat facts like kids in the street treat a whack pair of sneakers. What are those? And Katrina Pearson is no different. Now, Katrina Pearson was on with CNN's Wolf Blitzer, and she was having a back and forth with Wolf on whether her Republican nominee boss should apologize to, uh, you know I'm going to mess up his name. What's his name? The, the father? Ka Kaiser. Kaiser Khan. Okay. <laughs> okay, for insulting his son's legacy. Now, Kaiser Khan is the father of a Muslim U.S. soldier named, what's his Humayun. Humayun Khan. Humayun Khan. Rest in peace to him, who was killed in Iraq in 2004. Mm -hmm. And Katrina Pearson blames his death on Hillary Clinton and President Barack Obama. Let's hear it. But surely you can understand the confusion considering how Donald Trump never voted for the Iraq war. Hillary Clinton did. And then she didn't support the troops to have what they need. It was under Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton that changed the rules of engagements that probably cost his life. So I don't understand why it's so hard to understand why Donald Trump was confused about why he was being held responsible for something he had nothing to do with. Okay, Katrina, let's talk about this. Now, yes, Hillary Clinton voted for the Iraq war, but you said this happened under Hillary Clinton and President Barack Obama. Well, Katrina, uh, Captain Khan died in service in Iraq in 2004. Now, I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary. In fact, I called Africa a country just yesterday. <laughs> but I know that in 2004, George W. Bush was president. Okay, Iraq war happened five years before President Obama took office. Am I correct on this? Yes. I am. Okay. Fact. All right, but hey, who got time for facts when we trying <laughs> to get Donald Trump in the White House? Okay, Katrina Pearson, this is what happens when you try to explain why Donald Trump is confused. Okay, Donald Trump to me seems like he is in a constant state of confusion. Everybody around that whole campaign seems like they're in a constant state of confusion. So I don't understand why it's so hard for you to understand, why we don't understand, why you don't understand, why nobody gives a damn about what Donald Trump doesn't understand, because none of us understand why Donald Trump is the GOP nominee. But we also understand that nobody on Donald Trump team understands facts. And Katrina Pearson is yet another example of that. Please give Katrina Pearson the biggest hee-haw, please. Uh -huh. I mean, Jesus Christ, Google is your friend, right? I mean, you think if you're on a, you know, reputable network and you're talking to Wolf Blitzer, you would at least know who was president in 2004, wouldn't you? How embarrassing. Googles. Has she responded at all? I don't know, but I don't think she needs to respond. I don't think we need to hear from what her. What about Donald Trump getting a purple heart also? She's one of those women who... That's stupid. She, she, that was so crazy. She No, or well, somebody, he says somebody gave, gave it to And then the guy, him. and he goes... Man, I always wanted a purple heart. <laughs> he said, this is way easier. That's clown and work with him way. and his crew, man. That's clown work with him and his team. I just All think right. Katrina Pearson needs an Instagram and not a Twitter. Because we'd rather see her than hear from her. Because she does look good now. All righty. Mm -hmm. mm, nah. But, you know. <laughs> you don't like that right there? No. Why not? Because her uh, brain makes her unattractive. That forehead. All right. That well, thank you for though. that donkey of the day. All right? The Breakfast Club.